I love my Behringer TD3. It's so much sound for the money. You can't get any closer to the real deal with real analog hardware than what Behringer managed to squeeze into the TD3 design. I feel though that they might have spent a lot of money on engineering, but less on quality testing of each unit. But I guess you get what you pay for. I've got some issues with my TD3 that the scale of the unit is a bit out of tune. It's especially noticeable when using a broad note range, like different octaves. I hooked up my TD3 to Cubase, entered the lowest MIDI note and the highest MIDI note that the synth could play, both are C notes, and then used the tuning software to see how much it's off. As you could hear and see, the upper tone is almost a quarter tone too low, as it was supposed to be a C. Previously I've used Autotune in post edit to cure this effect, which sounded quite okay, but it was still a bit awkward if I wanted to jam. One day I stumbled across a post on Reddit where a member with a nick I can't pronounce wrote a tip of how to easily adjust the tuning by just turning two trim pots marked VR11 and VR15 inside a TD3. You just need to open its back and there they are. So this is what I've tried to do and this is the result. I started to unscrew the eight screws underneath the synthesizer. It's surprisingly easy to do that. It's like Behringer want people to be able to hack the synth easily. After I got it off, I looked for the trim pots VR15 and VR11, which are for fine tuning the scale. And they were quite easy to find. After about five minutes of fiddling, here speed it up because it's boring to watch. I managed to hit a sweet spot. Now, for a little before and after example with an acid line. Thanks for watching. Please hit thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Have a nice summer.